Right, it's a nice snowy day here in Warsaw. My son is playing with the voice out of some toy and making it quack like a duck. But what we really want to do is decide, once and for all, whether this tank is really too small. You can see the size of it, but because you can see my little boy next to it. It's not a small tank. It's a big tank. Let's have a look at the fishes. Well, they're a little bit timid, aren't they? They're, there's a huge great big Anubius there. And where have the fishes gone? They seem to be in hiding, looking after no doubt eggs or whatever. But uh, let's have a look down deep into the tank from this side. Mm, they're hiding. Oh, there's there's the male. Oh, there's both of them. And these are supposed to be small convicts, according to, to my viewer, Theo Lucas. That's a small convict cichlid. Hmm. I don't think so. There's nothing small about that. There's nothing small about the male. Anyway, let's show you the other tank while we're about it small indeed. Alright. Right. What you've got in here, this is brown because I've got a nice new piece of bog wood in it. There's a blue garami. Red tailback shark. Nice, isn't it? Down the bottom there, you've got the the old pim that used to be in the old tank. Oh, this both of the blue garamis. In a minute I'm going to get told that this is too small for the fish that I've got in it. <laughs> Some people are, <coughs> I don't know, made of money and can have like lake sized aquariums in their houses. But I do not think that this, it's about four foot long, is too small or overstocked for a handful of fish that I've got in there. I mean that is not bad fish keeping at all. If anybody cared to say that it is, then let, let them tell me how many litres they think there should be for these fish. Small tanks indeed. Enough of that. 